One team that is coming to an end here in a, in a week, Shane, the Georgia Bulldogs, the defending national champions. Mm -hmm. And we had some big news there in Athens here on Sunday because two former five-star linemen, Amarius mm -hmm. Mims and Clay Webb, both hitting the transfer portal here on Sunday. Sure. Now, Webb, you know, I'm not calling him out because I, th I certainly think both these guys are going to get plenty of offers. But yeah, I think for Webb, he, it, this is a situation where he just – he was struggling to get on the field, and, mm -hmm. hell, Georgia's loaded with linemen. So maybe that says more about Georgia than anything else. But Amarius Mim, Shane, I don't think there's any question. He's maybe the top prospect in the transfer portal right now. And mm -hmm. some of that is just how massive potential he has. He's, I believe he's only a sophomore. So, you know, he's got several years ahead of him. But more importantly, there's just not a lot of – left tackles available in the right. transfer portal. I mean, Vanderbilt's got a guy, Sheen, who, again, I'm, I'm not trying to trash him or anything. He's a solid player, but you should see his scholarship offer. <laughs> I mean, Alabama, LSU, Tennessee, uh, I mean, everybody in the country is after this Sheen. I think uh, anybody that uh, is in any kind of need for an offensive tackle, and that's basically the entire country, they're going to be beating down <laughs> Mims' door to get him on campus and uh, according to Mike Griffith over there at Dog Nation. Mm -hmm. Now, here's the interesting part, Shane. This does not have, in his words, the path to the starting left tackle job was open to Mims. And this is more about getting out there and seeing what his value is. And mm -hmm. this is where we're at, Shane, in the NIL era. And, and maybe this is why some yeah. people are totally against it and don't want to see it. But... Hell, if he's worth something and someone's willing to pay him, <laughs> and apparently Florida, Florida State, Miami are already on on Mims, I guarantee yeah. you LSU, Tennessee, they're probably beating down his door along with many, many others here. But uh, it's pretty wild, Shane, isn't it? That uh, Now, the deadline's May 1, so we're a couple weeks mm -hmm. away from that, de that transfer portal deadline. So we're going to see a lot of marquee players potentially hit this portal in the coming weeks. But – we're going to find out what a starting left tackle is worth in the SEC. Because yeah, I think yeah. as soon as Mims makes a commitment, he's going to have some NIL hit his door conveniently. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. You know, the thing about it, Mike, is uh, I don't know if you've ever heard of this guy. Uh, oh, what is his name? Mike, Mike Gundy. Have you ever heard of that guy? <laughs> yes, sir. You know, and, and it seems like every year – there's a hot name that hits the press that, you know, he's looking for a new job or he's fielding new opportunities. And guess what? Oklahoma State just turns around and gives him some more money. <laughs> so don't be surprised if that's not what this is. I, I, I mean, I don't right. know the entire situation, but, you know, there is a lot of money being handed out down there in Athens, and maybe these guys don't feel like they're getting quite enough. But once you put your name in the portal, you better you better believe some of these boosters are talking, and 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 don't be surprised if Mims doesn't stick around. Now, now the other one, I get I get his situation, but you know, don't I don't I wouldn't panic because this is also the, that this is the next chapter of NIL, and, and it's it used to be the transfer portal for the few years. If you weren't going to get some playing time, well, you're bouncing, you're gone. You know, mm -hmm. coaches promise you something, you didn't get it, you're gone. Well, now you're going to see. Well, why why should why should this guy get paid? playing the same position or on the other side of me and I'm not getting as much as him and he's driving around these brand new cars. You know what I'm saying? So that don't be surprised if we don't see more of this and it's not, not so much a fear of them leaving. It's just, Hey man, I will go if I don't get paid what I think I'm worth. Yeah, absolutely. Shane, we, there's been a number of guys that have hit the portal and then a day or two later, what do you know? They take their name right out and yeah, you know, they're not, broadcasting it but that's generally what you're seeing there is uh an nil deal nil mm -hmm. deal floated their way hey all of a sudden they're happy back where they were and uh now again matt luke of course uh a former old miss coach and last season offensive line coach at georgia no longer you know he resigned from his position there so they do have a new position coach i don't know how much of a factor that plays into it but right certainly i mean it's it's got to play a factor man yeah you know right right yeah maybe he just you know in first first couple of days in camp here not uh, maybe not a fan of the new offensive line coach down <laughs> there but i will say let's do this real quick Shane. i just want to kick it over to kirby this was a couple weeks mm -hmm. ago 
he was talking about Mims and just what the tremendous strides he's made since uh, since last season. You know, the same way at offensive line. We look at offensive line, and I'm like, man, look how far Amaris Mims has come. Man, look how far uh, this guy's grown and gotten better, Devin Willick. I mean, like, like I want to see the players improve. Yeah. All right, Jay. Hey, <laughs> if I'm Mims – I don't know if he's got an agent, Shane, but uh, I'd be cutting up this clip and sending it out to the rest of the schools. How about you? That's exactly right. Put that thing, put it in a TikTok. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, hey, I tell you, man, if anything, I hope Tennessee's established a transfer portal, you know, pipeline for these offensive linemen out of Georgia. We will take them. So will everybody else in the country. I mean, there's, like you said, it is not a position that they – that you could just go out and find, you know, some of these kids, they've had to comb for three or four years to get them to that starting left tackle position. Mims is a guy that steps in and just transforms a team that protects your best quarterback, you know, or your, your, your biggest asset back there with the ball. So, uh, yeah, th this is an interesting portal hit. I don't think it's the biggest one we've seen. Well, maybe physically, but <laughs> but but as far as as, as just changing a, a team's dynamics, but it is it it's up there, brother.